Hey guys, Tricker557 now here, and uh, this is just gonna be a not so quick video, but you know, uh, just a video on uh, how how to have a, a good airsoft setup uh, or loadout with a um, with price range in mind. So um, you might have seen my video I made about a year and a half or so ago about my cross draw vest. So I mean. That's a pretty, that's an okay vest. I got off air spot because that was a couple years ago, and I didn't even really know about Evike. So, um, but anyways, that's the vest cost me about thirty bucks. So I mean, uh, you might be thinking that's a piece of crap, but um, I was going online and looking at the price of a new vest that I could customize to what I want with a Molly style uh, webbing and everything. It could cost well over two hundred dollars just to get it the way I want it. So I just got a few things, and the total price is probably about a little over fifty dollars than I did to this cross draw vest. So I'm gonna stand up and stuff. Okay. Basically, I have my cross draw vest. Um, these pouches are empty. I just have some mags in here. Um, I took off the uh, cross draw thing. It's just a velcro pad, and I'll get in pricing, I just have these biking gloves, I got it like Walmart, um, I'll probably get some actual gloves, actually I do, but I'm not wearing them right now, these are more comfortable, but anyways, um, and it came with this mag pouch thing, right here, and I keep an extra mag for my WCQB master, I need to make a video on that actually, because it's, um, I have this uh, fairly cheap um, holster right here with the uh, CQB Master with the skull paint job I did to it. Might paint over it sometime whenever I get bored of it. Um, but yeah, this holster cost me about 20 bucks, not even. And it's adjustable all the way. But the thing is, though, or the reason why it cost 20 bucks, it like as soon as I took it out of the box, it broke. But luckily, my mom knows how to sew things, so she could fix it. Like, I'm talking like the, um, this broke right here. And the other buckle, it just totally snapped in half. But that broke off, but it still works for now. Probably won't be long before that breaks, and I'll have to replace that. Um, let's see. Also, um, alright, let me get this off here. Okay. I don't have very many mags yet, so, but on this side of my vest, here, I have a uh, side mag pouch thing that holds one single M4 mag, as you can see here, and there's two of them. The reason I, ha I got this, instead of using the um, pouches up here, was, because um, when I have my gun in this position, right, like this, I mean, I can still get to my mags. When I have my gun, all right. When I have my gun, um, like right here, it's kind of hard to get to the uh, these pouches right here. So, I mean, it, it's just if I'm reloading or something like like this, I don't want to reach under. I just want to reach over. Put it in like so. So, for now, I'm only using these, but again, my mom sews, so, so I should be able to replace these mag pouches with something else. Um, let's see. Well, this vest was actually not a very bad deal, um, the things that I've done to it. And also, I have this piece of fabric, it's like an OD olive drab color. It's kind of elasticy, and it's, um... It's not mainly for my neck, but for my sling right here, going around my neck, to keep it from rubbing against my neck. And, let's see, right here, these pouches, by the way, are ve are really, really small. You can't even fit a mag in them. Here, let me show you. I mean, look, that's, that's a regular high cap of mag. I mean, those are actually kind of big. And as you can see, the speed loader right there is sticking out. 
so that's pretty much all it's really good for. Speed loader or maybe a multi tool. Um, and then I have my radio pouch. I don't have one in it right now, but um, I guess I'll move on to what I have on the gun because this video is shorter than I thought. So um, let's see. I have this Matrix two point bungee sling on here, and let me show you how I have it positioned. If I can, let me just sit down. Okay. Bungee sling. It's connected to two points. The front of the gun, right under the uh, front sight post, and the butt of the gun on the rear sling mount. And what I do, I put it around my neck and under my um, left arm. Um, you just do it the opposite way if you're um, left-handed. So if you're right-handed like this, you can pick it up easy and hold the sling down with your hand right here against the gun. And you can just drop it. And it comes up really easily. Oops, and I just hit it on my desk. And it just drops like a single point. Um, I'll show you another method to hold it with. And that's like this. Which is... Okay. So you put your arm... You put it around your neck. You put your arm over this... Um, your right arm over the sling. So it comes like this. So the sling comes over your left shoulder instead of under. And in this position, it won't really drop down at a straight angle. But what it'll do, it allows you to sling it around to your back if you like that better. And I kind of went out of camera view. Then you can pull out your pistol. Let me do that again because I was like, it was around from your back. And you can just sling it right on to your back. So, yeah. Um, and if you want to, with the JG, they have these um, quick detach sling mounts, so you could mount a, sling a single point on here. But the first way I showed you is pretty much like a single point without getting that extra little $10 thing that's. I have it back into the original position that I had it in earlier. And so it's really, this all costed me, well with the gun, cost me around 200 with, well, the upgrades I did do it, that's a separate video though. Um, vest all together, the vest itself was stock, it's about 30, 35. This holster, uh, right down here, was about 20. CQB Master, around 100. Um, let's see. And I uh, know I didn't buy the CQB, my friend gave it to me, we traded. Um, I'm saying on um, too much. Uh, and the side pouch down here is a Condor one, and it would cost about $15. So you're at a total price of maybe around $70. I wasn't counting, so don't quote me on that. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll uh, see you next time. Okay, fail.